Hey guys, my name is Rico Pini and welcome to a tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the best out of your Blue Yeti microphone. Now, I've seen numerous countless videos on YouTube about on how to make the best out of your Blue Yeti, but I, I decided to make my own version because they take so long and everything that makes the best quality for this mic is all separated. Now, this is for what I've gotten from each of those and I'm going to compress it into one short video. Enjoy! For this project, you'll need two things. First, your Blue Yeti microphone. Next, a program called Audacity. It is free. I'll leave the download link in the description below if you want to download it now. And if you already have it, then good for you. Now, there are four things in this video. First, the raw audio. Next, a noise reduced audio. Third, a compressed audio. Fourth, the final build of the audio. Now for this video, I'm going to show you a waveform of my recording. This is without any edit. This is a raw audio. Hey guys, my name is Rico Pina and welcome to this audio for the Blue Yeti microphone. Now as you can see, there are background noise or you can hear. Now, our, our first step is to eliminate that background noise. How? You just simply highlight the background noise without any voice and go to the effects tab and choose noise removal and then get noise profile. After you, you did that, control A to select all or select the entire waveform, go back to effects and noise removal. Now, if I were you, it's up to you if you want to mess with this. But if you are in a noisy environment or you have low gain settings, this is the most applicable setting for the noise removal possible. This is my current setting. I have my gain set to low. It doesn't matter how low, it works either way. So if you want to copy this, it's fine. And let's hit OK. And let's play it back. Hey guys, my name is Rico Pina and welcome to this audio for the Blue Yeti microphone. As you can see or hear, there are no more backward noise. But wait, we're not yet done. Next up is decompress the audio and make it as loud as it can get to, to hear or to, to get that crisp voice that you want to hear. So stay with highlighting the entire waveform. Go back to effects and hit compressor. Now I don't want or I'm not telling you to change anything here because this is the default settings and I don't want to mess with any of these. And if you have different settings with this one, you might as well copy this setting because this is the default setting. You must not do anything with this video or with this compress compressor, compressor stuff and hit OK. As you can see, the waveform or the voice in the waveform are louder. Hey guys, my name is Rico Pina and welcome to this audio for the Blue Yeti microphone. But we're not yet done. We have one more step. We have to go back to effects and apply bass and treble. Now, you can play along with these settings. You can only play with the bass because the bass is from 7 to 9. That is the best setting for your Blue Yeti microphone. My best setting is 7 because I am using a low gain profile, which means I have to set it to the lowest possible bass decibel, which is 7 for me. And hit OK. And let's play it back. Hey guys, my name is Rico Pina and welcome to this audio for the Blue Yeti microphone. Now it isn't the very best, it isn't the best, but for me it is my best settings so far. So if you have any questions, post it in the, in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel if you're new. And as always, I will see you next time.